This video is not suitable for audiences under 13 years of age. Hello everyone, Mixfan Gaming here. Welcome to my channel. Today we take a look at some more test server action. This weekend's test server, they have a Scorpion back in here, as well as the Disguise unit, both of which we've seen previously. They've also added two other active modules. We'll go in here quickly and look at them. They are the, the Dash unit, which looking at the details, it says Robot makes a quick leap in a chosen direction, so just a normal dash. Cool down of 12 seconds. And, oh, here we go. And the jump unit, which the robot can jump in a chosen direction and a cool down of 20 seconds. So what I've done here is I've equipped the dash unit on the Scorpion. I also have the disguise unit and the, the Battle Born in the last stand. I put the dash unit also on the Strider uh, I know there's been some funky gameplay, and this test server is actually pretty broken with these these modules. Uh, I think if you actually equip a jump unit on an, uh, a bot that already dashes, you, it's basically kind of like going upstairs. You go up very, very high. It's almost like flying at that point. But I just I just I just put the dash unit on the Strider instead of the jump unit, and to see how things go. So for the Phantom. I haven't seen any gameplay of people running the jumping on the Phantom, so I want to see how far that thing can jump when I activate its ability. Just, uh, just curious. I, I don't expect to do very well in the, this test server, but I'm just I'm throwing th some weird builds out there. I put in actually a T Falcon, and uh, you know you can't jump with a regular T Falcon, but well, what if I put in the jump unit on a T Falcon? Let's see how that goes. I also threw the two disguise units on her. Usually you do the heavy armor kits and you run the healing module. Since I can't really do any healing on my own, I decided to put the two disguise units just to give me an extra four or five seconds of invulnerability and I can still fire at my enemies. I really don't expect this build to last very long per personally, but anyways, I'm just gonna have some fun. And finally, you know, talk about fun, I'm gonna see what happens with a behemoth running four thermites with a jump unit. I don't know if it will allow me to jump when I have all four weapons out. So we'll just go see how it works. I wanted to actually do it in a custom game before I actually threw it in my hangar. Uh, but I, unfortunately, the custom games didn't work. They, they won't let you go into a custom game on your own, at least right now on the test server. So we'll just throw it in the hangar here and see how bad it is. So with that being said, let's just hop into a game here and see what happens. Here we go. And unfortunately, we didn't land on the new map, but that's okay. Let's start with the Phantom. If I'm going to drop anytime soon. There we go, finally. Let's go on over this way. Dash here, and let's see what happens. Jump right over this. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. And I don't know, I, I know there are some builds out there that the jump is really screwed up in the sense that the cooldown is only lasts for a couple seconds. All right, so, ooh, what do you got back there? Somebody's running uh, thermites. And we have a Hellburner coming in. And he's not taking any damage, or maybe it's just delayed damage. Oh, and talk about a, a behemoth flying. Oh, he, he's bugged. You see how uh, how many jumps he just got? Look at that. Look at him jump. <laughs> it's almost like a behemoth has like a Cossack. All right, let's go out of here. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Look at it. So he's running the build that I put on. There, there we go. <laughs> this is hilarious. So I don't know what causes. Uh, let's go over here. <laughs> this is this is utterly broken. Now, guys, okay, we got to get some beacons here because I don't want this uh, to end so soon. And he just activated. He just had his flight. So how did he have, have a? Oh, he had that disguise unit. That's what's going on. All right, so let's go into the Falcon here. And we'll go over here and see if we can at least grab this beacon. Okay, fine. You want to do that? You know, if, if you want to, this game to last, you got to let us get some beacons here. All right, let's see what happens here. Is the jump dependent on speed? Well, I was able to make it over without having to move too fast, so. So you can grab this beacon here. At least it's domination, so we can grab our beacons back relatively easily. Scorpion here. Which I'm not hitting at all. That's fine. So that scorpion has a da has the dash in it. So we're gonna jump. Let my weapon pull down here. Uh -huh. He tried to backstab me and I jumped away. So I can just hit the broadside of a barn. This is why I don't run Nucleon and stuff like that on my personal account because I can't hit anything with it. Wait for his last stand to wear off. Try to get him here before I die, if possible. And of course, he locked me down just before I jumped, so I went straight up. Alright, so, let's use the Strider. Let's get in here. Get him to dash. Aw, oh, I wanted him. Alright, so we have the center beacon. Oh, you bugger. it. And I'm locked down, of course. Come on, dash in there. Oh yeah, I'm being leached by two players. Ah, that's that's nice. Alright, so let's see. can't do some damage to him. And why did I dash? I didn't even press the dash. And I didn't even press the uh, the built-in active module, so it it dashed on its own. Okay, so let's Okay, I'm being leached from where? How did somebody lock on me? I don't see anybody near me 500 meters to okay, dash in here. Okay, backstab. There we go. Got him there. And... Hey, who's hitting me now? Hey, how'd you... Oh, you you must be in a, a score for yourself. Alright, here we go. That's fine. Yeah, he definitely don't want to have the dash unit on this thing. Yeah, you see, since he's in my spawn, I don't go behind him. How did you do that? I I had just gotten away. I was there. I knew I knew he was going to backstab. So I I I went away so he wasn't in my uh he wasn't able to target me and he was still able to to backstab to me. Oh that would have that would have been glorious if that actually had. Boom, there we go, we got a kill. All right, so get out of my ability here. What? I didn't even press the jump button. 
This thing is screwed up. Royally screwed. That was a nice hit on that guy back there. Now, where is this guy? Ah, shucks. I should have jumped into that behemoth a little bit earlier when we weren't getting overrun by beacons. Anyways, we'll let this game run out here. I'll start giving my final thoughts. You know what, not really too much to say other than this test server is completely and utterly broken. You know, the, the dash unit and the jump unit, while interesting concepts, they don't add anything to the game. If nothing else, they're just going to be troll modules. And they better not cost any more than say, one to three power cells. Because nobody is going to put these things on any of the meta bots. You know, they, it just, when I saw them post this on Facebook, I was, uh, to me, I thought it was actually a joke. Honestly. You know, just, just adding more dashes, adding more jumps to bots that really shouldn't even have them to be honest and look what's happened they put them in and the whole thing is utterly broken certain bots like the behemoth to put a jump on the cooldown doesn't work the second you land you can jump again just like a cossack or a regatka uh, you know you, you put a dash unit on a, a dashing bot you know it's all that it just gives you an extra dash so uh, unless you're really really are Unless you're, for instance, using something like a stride and you're trying to rush and get to the center beacon as quickly as possible, then maybe it might be useful, but even then, you know, it, it could maybe help the older boss if you put something on a Leo or a Natasha, something like that. But, you know, it's the, the behemoth, you're probably not going to be able to use the four weapons in the air. I think it's just fluke that I was able to, to get one or two shots just because of things, how buggy the system is. There's been a number of occasions in this match where I just randomly used my ability when I didn't even press the button. And, you know, just going forward, definitely these are not going to come to life sort of the way they are right now because they'll just cause all mayhem. It's already broken the test for me. The disguise unit, I'm, I'm very much against. You know, it's, it, it, it will end up being a meta, a meta module where people will put on meta bots. And the, the bots are really strong enough as it is. And there's no need to have another four or five seconds of stealth multiple times if you have multiple modules of the disguise unit on your bot. Put two of them in, on, in a last stand on, on a Ravana with a phase shift. <laughs> You're going to spend probably five minutes just trying to kill that damn thing. Not to mention if you actually have the pilot on it as well that gives you a third transcendent ability. So, yeah, no, this is this is one of the worst test servers they've put on. At least they didn't have the Titans in there. I, you know what? I, I'm, unless you're testing Titan activity, like a Titan weapon or a new Titan, I don't think Titans should even be on the test server. We really want to have the ability to test any new bots and weapons that are actually put on. And Titans in the normal live server gameplay just completely annihilate everything else. So I'm glad to at least see they didn't put Titans in so we can do some proper testing. Even though these two units, the dash unit and the jump unit, completely broke the entire test server. It's really hard to give feedback with so many bugs like this. Anyways, so that is my look at the test server for this weekend. I'm sure we'll see better iterations of this in weekends coming up. So if you happen to like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help me out. Consider subscribing. And until next time. Cause some mayhem on the field for me.